Mother's Day is just around the corner. You know, that most important day of the year for some of us. So why not make a beautiful decadent brunch item to serve that lady in your life? Today we're gonna to make a decadent lobster eggs benny with our homemade biscuits and hollandaise sauce. So it's the third week of lockdown. Yes, week three, and Mother's Day is actually just a few days away. So I don't think any of us will be taking our mothers out uh, for that coveted Mother's Day brunch. I know I won't, seeing as I haven't seen my beautiful mother in over a year. So I will not get to hug her yet again this year. But anyways, this is one of her favorite dishes, and it's super easy. So today I'm gonna show you how to perfectly poach that egg, because I know a lot of us are scared of that. And we're gonna make hollandaise sauce. Yes, the scariest sauce known out there because you don't know if you're gonna turn it into scrambled eggs or if you're gonna end up with just a runny mess. But I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to do these two things and bring them together to make that perfect brunch for the woman in your life. What I love about you is that you're just such an amazing person and I'm just so proud of all your accomplishments and you always make me happy in any situation. Even when I seem like I'm not happy, I'm always happy when you're there. I just wanna say happy Mother's Day and I love you. I love you a lot. And the reasons I like you so much is because you're super beautiful. You don't spoil me. You're very lovable and kind. You do a lot for the public that makes them happy. I love you so much. Happy Mother's Day. So basically hollandaise is really simple. So I've got five egg yolks, I think. I had five egg yolks. So you want uh, egg yolks, you want an acid, so I'm gonna use lemon juice, uh, salt, uh, and I like to put a little bit of Dijon in mine, and sometimes I even put a little bit of Tabasco in mine. But basically it's just eggs and acid and then butter. And I basically um, heat mine up on the stove low and then let it sit so that when I pour it out, all the milk solids stay on the bottom because you want all the milk solids to stay on the bottom. You don't really want to put them in your hollandaise because that could actually mess it up. I'm gonna add some lemon juice to this right now. I've got water that's simmering. I don't want it to be too hot because again, we don't want to scramble our eggs. I'm gonna start with half a lemon because you can always do what, Doug? You can always add, but you can never take away. Yeah, and I do like mine, especially because we are serving it with lobster. I do like um, the nice acidity and the freshness of the lemon juice. You could flavor it with anything. Um, I do have chives that I found growing in our yard this morning from last year, which I'll use later. I, like I say with everything, you can sort of like use this as a base and then make it your own. I'm gonna add a little bit of Dijon because I like a little bit of Dijon in mine. Sometimes I actually find that it helps emulsify a little bit. So I'm gonna just put this, I'm gonna do this sort of in stages where I'm gonna put it over my water and then I'm gonna take it off and add some of my um, clarified butter, put it back on just so that I don't scramble. All right, so I've got this, I've had this on for a few seconds on my water and you can see that it's just starting to get um, fluffy, I guess, fluffy is the word. And I'm gonna just stream in a little bit of my butter. And this is where it's always good sometimes to have a buddy help you. I'm gonna add a little bit at a time. And I put it right back on top of my, I'm gonna turn this off, just warm it up a bit. So you really have to be careful here that you're not scrambling your eggs. You right? don't wanna scramble your eggs. You don't wanna scramble your eggs. So you don't want a boiling pot of water then? You don't wanna boil, you want it simmering. I even just turn it off and just use the steam. So you can see it's already nice and thick and fluffy. Fluffy. Beautiful. It's already like looking real silky smooth. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more butter to this and then I'm gonna thin it out again with a little bit of lemon juice. And I guess you don't want your butter raging hot either. You don't right? want your butter, butter raging hot either. All right, so I'm gonna just thin this out with a tiny bit of lemon juice. And this is almost, I'd say, good to go. I'm gonna taste it. I always say you want it to be um, so that when you spoon it over your eggs, it like drapes over nicely. Okay. So you wouldn't want it to like plop off. You wouldn't want it to just sort of like be a sheen. You want it to like 
nappy, I think was the word that we used to use in French. So as you can see, it's beautifully, it's nice. So all I'm gonna do now is I'm going to set it aside and then we're gonna poach our eggs really quickly and then we're gonna come back and assemble this. So just keep this in a warm place because you can always sort of like gently sort of like heat it up um, or keep it in a warm area so that when you are ready, you can use it. All right, so I've got a pot of water on. The big thing with poaching eggs is to make sure that your water's not boiling, but that it's not too cold, so simmering. So like when you just start to see the bubbles come up, I like to add white vinegar or an acid, even lemon juice, because what that does is it helps the egg whites coagulate. I like to crack my egg into another bowl as well, instead of just cracking directly in. That way you guarantee no shells, and I like to gently ease it in. So I like to also just give a bit of a swirl with my last, spoon. The last thing you want is for that yolk to break on the way in, right? Well, you don't want the yolk to break. Ease my egg in. You liked yours fairly soft, Doug. Yeah. So three to four minutes. Um, and obviously cook it longer, the harder that you want the yolk. I like to use my slotted spoon. Um, and then I usually put it like um, on a tea towel or just a piece of napkin just to sort of get rid of all the excess moisture. All right, we're four minutes in and this one's looking perfect. Into my tea towel. Eggs are poached, hollandaise is made, we have our biscuits. You can find the recipe uh, on one of the other episodes. So I'm just gonna heat up my lobster and then we're gonna put this all together. All right, so I'm gonna plate one of these up. I've got my biscuits that I made this morning. Obviously cut them a little bit bigger than the last time. Not and everyone uses biscuits though, right? No, no, we just use them at work and it's easy, but you could do this with an English muffin, you could do it with sourdough. I've just heated up um, my lobster meat, my beautiful lobster meat from Victoria Co-op. Put that right there on the bottom. And I even like to put a little bit of the, the nice lobster butter as well. Um, just a little added decadence on that biscuit as if we need more butter. My eggs. You like yours fairly soft poached, Doug? I do. All right. I like that runny yolk. You like the runny yolk right on top. All right, I'm gonna grab my hollandaise. Just let that, boom, beautiful. See how it's just covering nappy, nappy les oeufs, as uh, my old chef used to say back in the day, nappy les oeufs. I saved the claws for the top for you and then these beautiful chives that grew in our backyard and there you go well I will say Renee you're one of the most incredible mothers this earth has ever produced our kids are so lucky to have you as their mother well you know what's really good about Mother's Day though what is that? that our son Phil was born I was in labor with Phil on Mother's Day, remember that? I do remember that. So Phil's birthday, because he turns 11 gift. on the 10th, was my the best Mother's Day gift, gift I ever had. And Zoe, of course, too. But she was born in September, so. But I also want to send a special shout out to my own mom, who's also an amazing mother, and I love her very much, and then Renee's mom, too. So. Who we're dying to see, and we really hope. Hopefully, maybe. Sooner than maybe, later. Yes. It's been over a year since I've seen my mom, so. This is unbelievable, though. I love that the hollandaise has a bit of lemony, citrusy thing going on. Perfect with the lobster. The, I mean, the biscuits are ridiculous on their own. So when you add a little bit of hollandaise and lobster, life is good. There you go. Eggs perfectly poached. You got my runny yolk there, like I asked. God love you. All right, well, thanks, guys. This is partly due to some suggestions that we got that we decided to do this dish. So keep them coming. Make sure to subscribe and like, as usual. And, you know, have a great Mother's Day for all you beautiful, amazing mothers out there. Yes, I'm gonna go sit quietly in a corner with a glass of wine and <laughs> pretend that I'm alone. Okay, wow. <laughs> all right, see ya. Bye.